Supporters are rallying around a proposed new pedestrian bridge that would connect the Gulch with the Sobro area of Nashville. And tonight they ramped up efforts with a block party in the Gulch. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon is over at the smart screen now with more details on this project. Emily? Well, yeah, here's a look at the plans. This is a 700 foot bridge. It's going to wind across these existing rail lines. And you can see here it's going to connect here Pine Street at the Gulch and connect here to 10th Avenue South at Common Station. Now, supporters say this will connect two of the city's fastest growing areas, and as a result, it's going to benefit the entire city. Between the music, food, and crowds that are common in the Gulch is a new addition. It's great to see residences. And, and a new message of support for a proposed pedestrian bridge. Everyone should support a strong downtown because it supports the rest of the city. Mayor Carl Dean so joined residents, members of the group Connect Nashville, and business owners to rally support for the project. We're as excited as you are. Owner of Burger Republic, Drew Jackman, Thanks for coming out. says the bridge is a much needed addition to one of Nashville's busiest areas. Whether it's my employees or whether it's guests that come in, uh, everybody sees the benefit of being able to walk across to downtown from the Gulch. It would be awesome. The cable suspended bridge would not only connect the Gulch with Sobro, but would feature seating, open space, and entertainment areas. It just connects the whole city. Um, and, and gets everybody involved in a walkable community. The new $18 million proposal comes with a new funding plan as well. Mayor Dean says the money would come from tax revenue from seven Gulch area residential and commercial developments, not the city's general fund. It does not result in any property tax increase. It does not result in projects around the county not being able to be done because this project is being done. This project on its own, the merits, I think, justify it being done overwhelmingly. I think with the way it's being paid for, it's a no-brainer. Supporters hope Metro Council members see the benefits and the bridge will be the next big addition to Nashville. It's the spirit of excitement, of opportunity. Metro Council members will discuss the issue again on October 7th. If they approve the project, Public Works will move forward with the final design and construction could begin in the summer of 2015. Rory? Emily, thanks. Plans for the new pedestrian bridge were presented once before back in February. Metro Council members voted to put the proposal on hold. Mayor Dean said he hopes the new funding plan will bring a different outcome this time.